So the rumor is that Bradley Beal is going to decline his player option and re-sign a five-year max deal with the Wizards. So great news for the Wizards. Bradley Beal stays loyal to them. And I'm going to see if I can make that loyalty and hard work pay off. So I'm going to go on NBA 2K and I'm going to do a rebuild on Association to see if I can get the Wizards to a championship with Bradley Beal. So here's the Wizards roster, Bradley Beal, Chris Asperzingis, Kyle Kuzma, Achimura, the whole gang. And yes, yeah, so we're going to hop right into the offseason with the qualifying offers. I'm not going to extend Cassius Winston, so we'll just not offer him. And before I even go into the free agency, let me look at to my cap holds. All right, so here's the breakdown of the salary cap. And so we're negative 49 under the cap right now with Chris Al's contract and Kuzma. He might take up most of it. But what's the cap holds? Okay, so I guess most of the guys are actually on contract for next year, which is a good, it'll be good for trades. It'll be bad for, um, yeah, just the cap situation right now. So yeah, let's go into it. So first off, we have to re-sign Bradley Beal. That's the obvious part. So let's go ahead and do that. And yeah, we're just gonna bump up his contract since he's expected to get the max. So yeah, let's go ahead and get that out the way. All right, so here we go. Full max, $40 million. I think like in real life, his contract's like a five year 238, but obviously with 2K is gonna be a little bit off. So yeah, let's go ahead and offer him that. And yeah, let's just start there. So he agreed, so we have that straight. And yeah, we're just gonna renounce the rights to everybody else. I really wanna clear some cash space here. I don't know how much that really will clear up, but let's just go ahead and do that. So with that, let's see if our finances changed any. All right, so okay, not much has changed yet. It's still at negative 49 million. So yeah, looking back at the cap situation, I think I'm gonna trade Kyle Kuzma. I think it's kind of in the works because he has that player option for next year. I don't want to get stuck paying him. Either you pay him 13 million, he's gonna get a new deal worth more. So I think that's gonna be the move to make, especially with Johnny Davis coming in. So yeah, we're gonna let's find a trade for um Kyle Kuzma. Oh, so we actually can get Chris Middleton, which would be pretty crazy. But again, we have to re-sign Bradley Beal. So I don't want to do that. I actually want to bring, I want to bring a quality point guard to the team. So maybe I should, looking at these trades, I don't really see any like point guard for cheap. So I think what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to let it, we can get Rudy Gobert too if we really wanted to. But with Porzingis already there, I don't think that'd be the right moves. We can get some picks, Ford Tucker, uh, Jonathan Isaac. Spencer Dinwiddie, I do, well, they just traded him out, first of all, so that's why it's a bad idea, but all he is, I do want to bring a point guard to the team, but I don't think, maybe a little better than Spencer Dinwiddie, you know what I'm saying? And yeah, you see TJ McConnell and, and Kimber Walker, who's probably going to be getting covered in the next few days, so, could get Clay. that's an option, but like, uh, I... That Chris Middleton is kind of tempting, but obviously I don't think the Bucks would actually do that. I want to keep this somewhat realistic. So yeah, we're gonna let the um we're gonna let it get the actual free agency and actually sign Bradley Beal first. Okay, so we got that out the way. Zach Levine is actually still available, which is very interesting. Um, but yeah, let's go back and look at our cap. Okay, so now after we renounce the rights, we have 381 Ks. So we're not below the cap anymore, which kind of motivates me even more to trade Kuzma. And uh, let's see if we can add anybody. I don't really, I like the core of the Wizards, to be honest with you, and they're all still under 30. So I kind of want to keep a lot of these guys together. Again, Kuzma's really the only guy I want to deal. But well, let's see what happens. Let's see what we get in the trade. I'm sure it probably won't trade, it won't change much, but let's see what happens in the trade finder. So yeah, very similar, pretty much the same deals. So in fact, let's go find, let's go find our point guard. Let's not wait for the computer to see what they trade us. Let's go find somebody. So Ryder. I want to see, I feel like De'Aaron Fox would be a great fit for this team. I want to see what the Kings would give up or what they would want for De'Aaron Fox. Uh, Bradley Beal, of course. It must be a horrible, like, capture way to try to figure that out. In fact, what? Oh, yeah, the Kings, for some reason, don't have a lot of salary cap space, which is very interesting in itself. So, I'm going to go back to them. Like I said, I want to see if I can get the Aaron Fox. So, I wonder if I could put together a... Oh, as they do have some cap space. So, yeah, if I did, like, Kuzma, 
Oh, they trade a lot of their picks as well. Maybe go Kuzma 2025 and maybe even add Avdia to that trade too and see what happens. I'm probably getting up too much though. So let me get something in return. Let's see. Uh, we got to get some shooters. So let's see if um, we can get maybe, yeah, maybe we can get uh, Terrence Davis. He's only a B, but okay. So not going to do that. Let's just see if we can just do it for De'Aaron Fox straight up. And they agreed to it. Okay, so we got De'Aaron Fox, Trey Kuzma, and Abdia for him. So pretty good deal, I would say. Um, maybe you guys in the comments might disagree. And obviously that won't fill out much cap space. I imagine we're probably down the cap now. You have 12 and a half. So looking at our team now, I want to get a solid six-man rotation. So we have Bill, De'Aaron Fox, uh johnny davis hachimura porzingis and then yeah we need to get some role players for sure um i don't know what i'll really be able to do at this point but obviously won't be able to do like a big thing for brunson or anything like that but um anthony simons is a restricted free agent so i don't know if you can hear that it's like about the thunderstorm here i don't know if you guys can hear that but so yeah um what about malik monk can we get him on a Maybe see if he takes, I doubt he takes that, but yeah, he declines it, of course. Um, so yeah, we kind of did ourselves in with that trade now I think about it. Man, that might not have been a good move. I don't know what we're going to do with this bench now. Uh, yeah, let's get Patrick Beverly, actually. We need to get some um, get some attitude, get some intensity to this team. So we'll, we'll do Patrick Beverly. What else is in our affordable? Maybe bring KCP back. Let's do that. Um, yeah, I think what... Going back, what do we have? Who's really coming off the bench right now? So we have Gafford, Kispert. So yeah, I would say pretty much like we probably need one through four off the bench. So let's see. Um, maybe, uh, I don't know about Daniel House. We all know about his issues. I won't, uh, I probably shouldn't have brought that up. But um, what about James Ennis? Bring James, oh, okay, that's all my offers. So let's go through a day. Let that trade assumption just stay where it is. Go through another day. So yeah, Patrick Beverly signs. We did get Patrick Beverly. So yeah, let's um maybe we can even get Gary Payton. In fact, what was his offer? So he got an offer of the Thunders for a minimum. So let's match that and see if we can give him. And maybe you can give him two million, give him a little more, and come to the Wizards. And so yeah, we get KCP and Gary Payton. So I think that I think we're pretty set with that. I think it's a pretty solid team. So yeah, looking now, I see Bradley Beal, De'Aaron Foss, KCP, a little big three there, then Hashimura. Brought Patrick Beverly in with KCP, Gary Payton, and still got Johnny Davis. I wanted to put Johnny Davis in the starting lineup, so now this might be a little tricky. Yeah, because we got to play the young guys, so I wanted to get Johnny Davis in there, and that's how we're going to justify putting him in the starting lineup is because he's the young one and the rookie. What, would he go 10th overall? So, yeah, that's how we're going to justify it. All right, so here we go. The start of the season, I just skip right to it. So, yeah, let's go ahead and get our rotation and everything like that. Um... So yeah, this is kind of the basis. So yeah, obviously, like I said, we're gonna get we're gonna get Johnny Davis in the starting lineup. And um let's see, how tall is he? Okay, so he's 6'6, so yeah, he should be fine playing the three. So um I and we're gonna play Porzingis. I know I know teams, I know it's probably not ideal to play Porzingis at the five for the sake of this. Um walk through rebuild whatever you want to call it we're gonna put him at the five there and put hachimura there at the four and then that brings gaffer off the bench gary payton kyle pope and obviously patrick beverly has to get some minutes there so we're gonna take kisper's minutes down and put on the pat pat bev and uh in fact oh so okay so pat bev really declined that's why because he dropped down to like a 74 so that's why his minutes dropped a little bit and um we're gonna have to give Johnny Davis more minutes too, as he's in the starting line now and take KCP down a little bit. So, play, yeah, he needs to play more than 25. So, uh, we'll go, we'll, we'll do this, and then they'll go 21, go about 18, and then we'll go Johnny, we'll go Johnny Davis 28, Hachimura about 29. I don't know why the, and that's probably fair. Near Foss and probably be able to play around the same. So yeah. And we'll just go with this. This will be our rotation. Um, so yeah, and so yeah, we got to play through Bradley Beal. That's pretty much how the Wizards play. So that's not going to change much. And I'll put De'Aaron Foss a second option because why not? 
and then we'll just leave that there all right so let's see how the team does let's go ahead sim to about december and to the kings actually win loss to the kings okay so where are we at so we're 14 and 14 right now so that has us we're the eight seed exactly so we might need to make some sort of move gary payne says morale and trust has been disabled oh okay i don't know what that's all about but so yeah let, let's look at so let's look at everybody's stats to see how everybody's doing okay so bradley beals 26 oh De'Aaron fox is hurt spinal injury two to four months just in my luck is De'Aaron Fox gonna be out most if not all of the year so that's not very ideal so yeah we need to get another point guard so let's look at trade finder um let's see i don't even know who we're not obviously not gonna get it may be like yeah maybe what about kobe white because i know the bulls there have been a lot of trade rumors about kobe white recently so you have to give up and that's a little ridiculous and that's not happening so uh let's see let's see if we can make something work here um let me trade gafford and maybe see what we can do with that and maybe we do that um probably shouldn't be trading these young guys that wouldn't work anyway probably should be trading some of these young guys anyway but um what about maybe throw pat bad in this trade and they really have no cap space so they don't have to be in this spot but let's see if they take yeah that's not gonna happen um yeah i'm gonna give up on kobe white let's see about some maybe another point guard maybe go to clippers and ask about reggie jackson he's getting a little older now and isaiah todd and vernon carey jr you know i might take this trade actually and this might i mean isaiah todd's young though and he's actually from richmond which is where i'm from but i don't know I'm, I want to go in on saving this season, but this is probably not the best idea. So what are some other offers? Uh, I could trade Gafford. I don't know if you guys just heard that thunder, but uh, trading two young guys is probably we get one back. I'm going to do it. You know what? Forget it. I'm going to do it. So yeah, the Clippers took that trade. So maybe putting Reggie Jackson in there might save our season. And so let's redo the rotation. Patrick Bradley obviously will not start. We got Reggie Jackson. So let's do that. And pretty much just switch out their minutes. And hopefully that saves our season. So let's see. Let's send them to about all-star break and see what happens. We're winning a good amount of games here. So it's kind of slipping a little bit right for all-star break. But okay, so today's a trade down. So yes, we do want to stop. So where are we at now? So we were the same even after all those moves. And that has us, we're probably the nine seed. I'm, we might be 10 actually. So let's see. Yeah, we're the 10 seed right now. So we're just in the play in. I don't really know what else to do because this is just because De'Aaron Fox is hurt. So he's back now. So um, that's good. Um, I don't know how the Cavs are 41 and 15. That doesn't even make sense. Let's see. Is there anything, anything we can do? So maybe I was wrong. Maybe this team does need a legitimate center. I'm going to look at the stats really quick to see how like Porzingis is doing and all that. Um, so yeah, Bradley Beal is 25 and a half. De'Aaron Fox is 21. Yeah, Porzingis is 13 and about nine and a half. We need another center on this team is what I imagine. So let's look and see if we can get another starter. Maybe go after. Okay, so no offer for Wiseman. Uh, Nurkic is hurt um obviously you're not gonna be able to get chad or aiden i'm surprised they re-signed him one here actually now i think about it i would say isaiah stewart but he's undersized that wouldn't really make sense to put him next to porzingis we'll probably get valentunas for cheap but i wouldn't imagine that'd be worth it um what about miles turner because i know he's been a lot of trade rumors in real life as well so yeah they want porzingis or johnny davis i could maybe one now that the Aaron Fox is back, if I did like KCP and maybe Kispert um, for Miles Turner straight up. Wait, um, I did not read that. Hold up. Okay, so that didn't work. Um, I don't really want to trade more picks. Maybe throwing like two second rounders in there. So that's not not enough. Again, I'm going to, and maybe add Pat Bev, so they, okay, they can't have, so yeah, they can't have more than, um, they can't take in more than two players, so 
So if I dealt Brandon Boston instead, that wouldn't work. Okay, so yeah, we're not gonna get Miles Turner, apparently. All right, so obviously not Jokic. Um, we don't want Nate Claxton. Chris, they actually, the Mavs just traded for Christian, Christian Wood about a week ago, so I'm not gonna really mess with that. Um, no, Mitchell Robinson is probably too young for us to get. Could get Rashawn Holmes, maybe. Let's see about Rashawn Holmes, actually. Okay, so it's about the same offers as um, Miles Turner. I'm gonna see if the Kings maybe, and we're making a lot of deals with the Kings here, but maybe that might be a little easier if we do like, I don't wanna trade too many rotation players either, but if we did like Kispert and um, Gafford is hurt, we can't trade him. And then maybe we could trade Reggie Jackson back out, uh, take Terrence Davis off the deal and they can't do it. So maybe we just have, might have to make that Miles Turner trade work. Uh, not gonna get Rico Bear. Not gonna get Bam, obviously. Maybe make a move for, actually I think Capella would be a good pickup. And they'll do KCP straight up. What else will they do? Uh, we could all do Kispert and Pat Bev. That might be better because then we can keep KCP since so he's a good rotation player. Yeah, let's go ahead and do that. Oh, we can get Sharif Cooper as well. So yeah, I'm gonna do this trade actually. So let's see what the rotation will look like now. And yeah, Porzingis moves to the four, Hachimura goes to the bench. Uh, we're gonna put Johnny Davis back in that starting lineup so he can grow. And we need to give him more minutes too. So maybe take some from Gary Payne, Sharif Cooper, give it to him. So we're gonna put him about 27 minutes and give Sharif Cooper a minute back. So yeah, we'll go with that. Um, hopefully all this, yeah, all that stuff stays the same. And hopefully that'll get this team back on track. So let's send the rest of the season. Final six, finish the year winning seven in a row. Let's see if that was enough. Okay, so we're AC, so we're the AC and gonna make the playoffs. Well, we have to play in the play-in now to make the playoffs at least. Joel B is MVP, Chet won rookie of the year. Shaden Sharp, six man. Wow, but Shaden Sharp, the rookie, went six man of the year. That's interesting. Miles Turner, he was wow. Miles Turner, he was a player of the year and quickly the most improved. We quickly jumped to 22. But you know what? I actually can see that happening though next year. Now with Kimball Walker gone, it's very possible. So, do we have any? No first team, no second team, no third team. Didn't really think there would be. All right, so here we are. The plan. Why is it showing the Western Conference? So we're the play-in, and we gotta beat the Hawks to get to two, two seed. So the Knicks, so what is, what in the world is happening with the simulation? So yeah, we win this game, we go up against the um, the Knicks. So let's simcast it, and let's see how they do. Okay, not too bad to start off. They're right in the end, yeah, now the game blown out. <laughs> that was not close. So man, we gotta do something about this. All right, so we lose that game. So now we're in that second playing game. We'll see what happens with, um, okay. So yeah, the Heat beat the Nets. Oh, so the Nets with the 10 seed, that's funny. Wait, but some guys might've moved in free agency. So maybe the Nets don't have Kyrie or something. Oh no, they do. They just, <laughs> they just chill. So yeah, so now we gotta beat the Heat to get in. So Simcast, we better not lose both to get out of the playing. Oh boy, it's a close game. Come on, come on. And yes, we're gonna win. All right, we're in the playoffs. Close is close, but we managed to sneak in. So now we have the one seeded Cavs. Who do they even have? So they the one seed. I mean, the Cavs are a good team, but like, pretty much the same. Darius Garland is a 91 now, so he just really developed in. Which, I mean, yeah, Darius Garland's a really good player. Uh, this is definitely possible. 91 seems like a crazy eye, but hey, you know, he worked hard, proved his game, got better. We respect it. So, and it seems like 2K simulation for years a favorite the Cavs anyway, but here we are, the first series against the Cavs. And uh, let's see, lose game one, lose game two. Okay, we took game three. Okay, we tied it up at two. We coming back. All right, lose game five. We got a sim casting now. Let's see what happens. Come on. All right, also we can start. Come on, guys. And yeah, we're gonna force a game seven. It ain't over yet. It's not over. Bradley Beal dropped 30. So yeah, Bradley Beal clutched up for us. Uh, sim casting game, game seven. Come on. Let's pull off the upset. 
They've been doubting us all year. Come on, make it a game. Ah, uh, no, we're going to lose this one. So, I guess that's it. Uh, I got the Wizards a little better. I got them into the playoffs and got them to be take, take, take the one seed to a game seven. But let's just send the rest of the playoffs here. Um, so, yeah, the Cavs win the championship. Interesting enough. They beat the Pelicans to get there. Uh, so, yeah, that's it. Um, maybe I'm not the best GM. I mean, I got them a little bit better, but I was expecting a little more. Yeah, I'm going to stop it here. Um, let me know what you guys think. If you like the video, make sure to like, comment, subscribe. Um, let me know what other teams I should do a rebuild on. And if my rebuilds will last more than one year. In the future, I probably will do more than one year. This is just my first one, so I kind of want to get a hang of it first. So, yeah, let me know what you guys think. Hope you guys have a great day, and I'll see you guys next time.